Pea aphids cause yield loss by feeding on peas during the pod formation and elongation stages. They overwinter in perennial legumes, but the bulk of pea aphids in Western Canada do blow in. Field peas should be monitored and protected from aphids for two to three weeks once pods start to form. Economic thresholds for aphids and peas are established for early flower by checking plant tips or by taking sweep counts. So with higher crop prices, this threshold will be reached when there's about one to two aphids per plant tip or seven to 10 per single sweep on average across the field. And then foliar insecticide at early pod when about 50% of the plants have produced young pods is the best time for control. And that's since it protects pods during those forming and elongation stages, which are really the most sensitive to aphid feeding. Once peas have produced full pods at R4, control is unlikely to be economical any longer. When you're out scouting for pea aphids, make sure you're also taking a look around for their beneficial insects or predators that are eating the aphids like lady beetles, or here we've got an um, aphid mummy left behind by a predatory wasp. So keep an eye out for beneficials that might be working for you too. Pea aphids are also a pest of faba beans. Economic thresholds for faba beans are currently being researched at the University of Saskatchewan. Preliminary data is showing that probably around 140 to 300 aphids per plant might be a, a working threshold for now, but those numbers are still under investigation. Aphids can very quickly have a little bit of a population boom. So every aphid will produce around 50 to 150 young in, within a year, and those offspring are, will become reproductive within a week. So populations can really take off if you're not monitoring for them. So even though the thresholds in faba beans is a bit higher than in peas, it is important to still keep monitoring for them throughout potting. And also keep an eye out again for those beneficials. So lady beetles, lace wings, damsel bugs, and more. Make sure you're encountering for those beneficial insects as you're taking a look for pea aphids.